All right, so I don't normally do unboxing videos. Actually, I don't even know what I normally do. This is the first time I'm doing a YouTube channel. So, um, but I'll tell you the problem. So the problem is, is that I do a lot of writing. I have my iPad, which as you can see, I have a visitor here today and he's actually using my iPad in this particular moment. So ain't that right? Actually, I just bought this stand, let's see this. This is like a massive stand to kind of hold it in place so that he doesn't keep shifting around. I'm actually going to bolt it down to the desk. We'll talk about the desk setup later on. It's about a video. So the point is, he has my iPad right now. And normally I would be drawing on the, on the, on the, on the computer if I want to do any description or whatever. So this becomes a problem for me. And as a result, I figured I'd get a dedicated tablet thingy, a cheap one, because... It's not, you know, I'm not an artist or any single thing, not, not a full-time job for me. So this is the Deco, D-E-C-O, 01 V2. And again, I don't normally do, this is not a, like my goal is not to do unboxing videos or whatever. I'm just trying to solve a problem, which is I have sort of descriptive stuff that I'd like to draw on the screen. I like to draw, I'm a visual person. And so the whole goal with this is to, see if this is gonna solve that problem of allowing me to just kind of have um, my screen so I could draw stuff. So anyway, so with that, I'm gonna share my experience with it and I'll tell you if it works or not. It's not an unboxing video, so I'm not gonna to try to go through all the different details. A hundred people that does this kind of stuff, on the so go look at one of those unboxing videos. Um, that being said, what I will say is that for 69 bucks, I get, I mean, it, it, it seems well packaged. I mean, that does not necessarily an indication of how good it will work, but it seems like it's uh, it's fairly well packaged and I'm pretty, yeah, it's like they, somebody spent some time with this to kind of put it in the paper. And uh, uh, so, again, not an unboxing video, I'm not doing an unboxing video. They're just trying to solve a practical problem. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? You got some impressions? What do you think? So it has a uh, sort of a film on top of it. Take that off. And my so the reason why I actually got this one was because it was very thin. You see that? Like it's like it's like super thin. It's like that's almost as it's actually it's, yeah, it's up to my iPad, which I really like. And um, yeah, I really like that actually. So can you not mess up this unboxing video here? And it has some sort of, okay, so it has a, so I think this has to go on that, right? So I think like this, I think, I'm not sure, as a protector maybe, so that when you draw, you're drawing on this and that, I think they'll find out in that. And um, pen, definitely like comparison to my iPad pen, it's about so it's, it's thicker, it has more base. <laughs> and the iPad is like very straight, but this one here has a little bit more of a base. So we'll find out about that. And then So it kind of comes with this style, uh, thing to put the pen. It kind of is a bit wobbly, but I guess that was the design. It's just <laughs> intention not to be sort of like, what's going on, man? What's happening? What? You want this? Yeah. You want this? Yeah? Okay. You can have that. And then, what else? I love the fact that it has a 90 degree um, USB cable, which is a big deal. So 90 degree cable and what else? And then it has some adapters, USB A to USB. USB A to USB C and USB A to right? don't eat it, man. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's okay. Just leave it there. Here, you can eat this. 
this one's clean. This is clean. I don't know where this came from. This came from some factory. Here, you can eat this one. Eat this one. Yeah, you can eat that. Or this, or here. You got your toy. Eat that one. Yeah, here we go. All right, sorry, I'm multitasking today. So, so yeah, so it has USB and USB-C. So that, that'll definitely come in handy. And then all the rest is safe. Now, okay, this is, I don't, so I don't know much about this, but it seems like I have to wear this, which is kind of ridiculous. Hopefully I don't have to like actually wear this all the time. So it's like, like that. And the goal is I presume so it doesn't do the palm rejection thing. This seems a little gimmicky, but whatever. We'll try it and see. So with that, I'm gonna to try to set this up. I'll, sh I'll, I'll, I'll get it set up on the computer and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my thoughts on how it actually works all together. So yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so the first thing I'll say just right off the top first impression is that I did not have to do a single thing. It just, I just plugged it in, literally put my mouse onto it and it started working. What I noticed is that if I'm using the mouse, it'll be a cursor, but the minute I put the pen onto the tablet, it just instantly becomes this sort of like dot on the screen. I did notice that Windows 11 will expand this so that I could, I guess, configure it. Click here to install journal. I don't know about that. Um, so pen settings and pet it, edit pen menu. So let's go to pen settings and see what it has. So side buttons, choose which hand you, which, so I write with my right hand, not my left hand. And uh, choose what shortcut button does. So pair pen. So single click will launch Microsoft Whiteboard, double click, OneNote, I guess. And press and hold, supported by some pens. Yeah, well, allow apps to override. Yeah, available pen settings, additional pen settings. So show visual effects, show cursor. Let me use my pen when it's a mouse available. I don't know. Ignore touch input when I'm using my pen. I guess that makes sense. Display additional key press. And then use handwriting. Find your pen tips. Okay, so that's basically it. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward. I'm almost certain that the software for the X-Pen will have a little bit more configuration because what I did notice is that, so let's see, single click to, single click to, interesting. So the clicks are now working, but I don't know. I have no idea what he's, yeah, the clicks are now working. Okay, so we'll figure out the clicks later on. But if I launch whiteboard, which seems to be my go-to app these days for just for scribbling, I don't actually use it for. Can you stop moving the desk, please? We're busy. We're in the middle of a recording. It tends to mess with the uh, up and down buttons. Uh, so yeah, so if I put my mouse on for it right away, it'll start. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? Want some more? Yeah. There we go. So, uh, you know what? It, it, this is good. This is good. This is as good as it'll get. I think as a, for, for 69 bucks, this is fantastic. I don't need any single thing more than that. It even has pressure sensitivity. If I type light, if I draw light, it'll do it. If I go heavy, so light, heavy. Yeah, and it's it. this feels good. This feels almost as good as my iPad. Not as good, but it definitely feels up there. So I'll for sure get some use out of this because that was that's one of my biggest problem. Um, I think what it, it the, so the, the the mapping on the board and the mapping on the screen is just a teeny bit off. So when I'm like 
all the way to the end it's going too far so there's just some mapping issues but i think that's just a software problem that i could control um but normally i tend to do stuff like this quite a bit right and i'm able to map it it feels just a t just a slightly off like a little weird but it feels good enough that you know i could what i'm happy about here is that i could write the i right um there's it feels like um you know sometimes when you when you have like a glasses on and like in the old fashioned days where you have glasses on and you walk and you feel like you're kind of walking and that's slightly like it, it, the ground is not quite there it, there's a little bit of that feeling i don't know how else to explain it just you gotta trust me on that one but that being said i think that's a software adjustment thing so my brain kind of maps through it otherwise as a purchase this is a fantastic tool again the model number on this thing here is so the exact so it's x pen so that's x p e n x p uh x p dash p e n and then the model number is d e c o zero one v two so i guess the refresh version but yeah i as a yeah, this is fantastic it, it works it's 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 as good enough as I'll, I'll need for now so that's that's my opinion about this it's a thumbs up from me i guess Thanks.